Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Tony from Tony Blake Projects. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am pretty much sharing 30 travel tips with my YouTube family. Just tips and tricks, tricks that I've picked up along the way of traveling to over 30 countries and 35 states and just things that I've learned along the way and helping you um, on your travel journey as well. I have also written a travel guide which is also available for purchase. The link is in the description and it's only $2.99 to pre-order. All right, so if you are interested today, I'm sharing, I think it's tip number 23. If you're interested, keep watching. Hey YouTube, today's travel tip is to invest in a VPN or download a free one. Okay, so what is a VPN? A VPN is a virtual private network. It is used to encrypt information from start to finish, okay? So some people use it um, to help protect their credit card information, their passwords, and things like that. But with um, mobile use on the go, there are several um, companies that offer a VPN for your phone. So I started using VPNs in China because um, the other reason is, again, it filters information, right? So in China, I don't know if you know this, but um, Western social media websites are blocked. So if you live or visit China, you cannot view Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, things like that. And yeah, who wants to go without those? So um, he downloaded That's how some people get around it in China. Um, but the other um, thing is, so you just, it's just all for privacy. So for example, this recently happened to me in Jamaica two weeks ago. I'm in Jamaica all the time. You guys know I live there part time. And in order to access my company's website and email, that information is encrypted. And I could not access it from the um, the internet in Jamaica now this is something that I've done in the past and just sometimes it just does not work whether the company ends up their security or whatever it was so luckily I had a VPN I was able to turn it on and change my location to the United States and I was able to access that information all right so I use Express VPN and I'm not telling you to purchase ExpressVPN because it's one of the most price, pricier ones, right? So there are some out there that's free. ExpressVPN, I believe it's $12.99 per month or I think a hundred and something dollars for the year. Um, so because I use it all the time, I go with the yearly subscription because it's just cheaper. Um, so what you want to do is just research the best VPN for you. Like I said, there are free ones out there, but you get what you pay for. If you're not going to be using it all the time, then a free one can and do just fine. Um, there's Nord, there's, um, I can't think of any other names right now, but if you type in VPN into your store, a lot will come up. Um, the other reason why I suggest getting a VPN is because... If you are traveling and you're trying to find tickets or things like that, it is cheaper when you're shopping locally, okay? So if I want to look up tickets in Europe, I can change my location as if I'm in Europe to get European prices, right? So for some reason, well, it makes sense western prices are usually more expensive so you will you can access and change your location um to wherever you want to be i have my express vpn under travel i don't know if you guys can see that so it's right there and i don't keep mine on all the time um so right now it's not connected because i don't need it right now i'm in ohio just push connect and I have mine automatically defaulting to Miami, but I can change it to I can change it to whatever country I want. Okay, so um, 
Belgium, Hong Kong, UK, Canada, things like that. So you change your VPN according to your location. So that's today's tip, guys. Invest or get a VPN virtual private network. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. See you tomorrow.